All right, guys, how are you guys doing today? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do alarms in the Unify Protect version 5.2.61. I know I did one not too long ago. I didn't know this one was gonna be redefined and be coming out so soon, so I kinda of let it mature a little bit, and now I'm doing my video on it. So, let's get in to make these alarms really easy and get rid of all the alarms we don't need. So let's get into that video. <laughs> All right, so as you can see the interface, this is one of the job site. This job site is actually on a pole right now. There's no power really to the building other than these poles around it because they're redoing the building. They had some tractors stolen and stuff like that. So they just wanna know who's coming in the front gate, the back camera, it just says AI Pro. They don't really care about that right now. This, the front gate, that's all they wanna come and nobody's gonna be able to get in. It's around the other part of the property. It's really impossible. They just wanna know they want no more tractors stolen. But to make these alarms really cool and really hit your phone correctly, I'm gonna be showing you guys some cool stuff that we can do. So with this new update, let's just go to the camera. We're gonna to go to the front gate because that's the one I made. And we're gonna do always. And the reason we wanna do always to record because we just want to record always and continuous. So we're not gonna miss anything. Like a lot of people have these ring cameras and think, oh, they're so amazing. And I see all these YouTubers getting robbed or something, they do their videos. Oh, I missed them or I missed the thing, I didn't catch it. Well, guess what? That's the problem with cameras that are solar powered. They can't do continuous recording. So if the object moves too fast or the camera doesn't trigger in time, then guess what? You're gonna miss that footage. But with continuous, whether you get the notification uh, when you get it, if it's a little after or whatever, it doesn't matter because you're gonna get all the footage no matter what, because you're gonna be able to see the sunrise and the sun go down and you're gonna catch that guy or whatever is in your prop pretty, whether it's animals or whatever. So uh, I like to create the AI events. We got animal face, license plate and person and vehicle. Now the vehicle, the animal, I can pick which ones I wanna get notified for. So it's pretty cool. I'll still get like snippets and things I can go through really quick to find the creatures or whatever, but I just won't get pinged on my phone. So let's say an animal comes on the property. I'll still be able to go back and search animals and see all the animals that are my property but I'm not gonna get dinged on my phone unless I want to. So that's what's pretty cool. So I put all these on, car alarm, car horn, braking. I have those for sound stuff. So we have that just in case somebody slams on the brakes. Just a little extra thing. Uh, FPS, custom, video compression, custom, max frame rate, I want the best image, um, standard. Uh, 4K, okay, whatever, doesn't matter. Time and camera's name, we want that. Obviously, we wanna know when we're watching the video which camera it is, or if we download the video off the system, we know, oh, this is front gate, this is this camera at this time, instead of having to try and guess. Um, and it also helps, too, with case manager, which I did a previous video, and I will have a link up here to how to do case managing. So, we don't need to do motion zones because we disabled motion events so that doesn't even matter we have line crossing which you can do but i like to make sure it detects people in person you can do line crossing add a little line just go name it whatever a b direction depending on which way they want to go this is both directions this is a to b or the other way and you can name it like car coming in car come going out he just wants to know when every vehicle comes in so i don't even care i just want to do detections you can hit save and then we come up here, we go back to the line crossing, and then we can go here and just edit, put it, draw it, whatever we need it to go or whatever, shrink it down. And yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. We can, uh, what kind of detections, animal, person, vehicle again, we can just delete it, delete it, remove, it's removed. As the same with add smart detection zones. As you can see right here, this one is all this area. If anybody comes in, here's the gate right here. If anybody comes in, it's gonna detect animal, people, face, and vehicles, but I'm not gonna get alerts on animals. And I'm not gonna get alerts on face and person uh, until it's the time window. So they'll still get snippets, but they're not, until it's nighttime, until it's six to six then, or seven to eight, or eight to 10, or 12 to 10, whatever they wanted, I put on here so they don't get rings on their phone, because they don't want it all day. This is a work site. People are gonna be coming in and out all day. They don't need their phone blowing up unless it's time where nobody's supposed to be here, well then, guess what? Then you will get pinged on your phone, and that's what I have it set to. 
But let's just add another one here. Let's just pretend we have another zone, we have animals. So this is what's so cool. We can move it around, add it to where we need it, whatever, make it whatever. We're just gonna say here, whatever. Okay, and then you wanna save it. You can hit this little thing and set the intensity. Set it to 79, hit save. And now we are saved. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now what we can do, we're gonna exit out of this camera right here. We're gonna go to our alerts and we're gonna actually make our alerts. But the cool thing is too, like I was saying, we're still gonna get these playbacks. So if we go to playbacks, we can see here, if we go to just timeline, if you just wanna search the whole timeline until one of those playbacks come up that you see throughout the day, or we can make it even smaller so it you know zooms in for the time more, so you move slower. We can do detections. If I just wanna see all the last detections of the day, I can just scroll through those quick instead of, because they're in this timeline, but we just have to keep scrolling until one comes up of when it was detection last. But the cool thing is with these, you can see right here at this time at thing, I can click it, and then boom, we're gonna get the car right there going off. We got the car, freaking awesome. We ain't gonna miss them. I can just keep going the whole day if I wanted to, if, but I stopped it right here because I'm in detections only. So if I go to timeline, there it is. And I can just watch the whole day till the car leaves and the sun goes down and all that stuff until it's dark outside. Cool thing is though, we have this feature, find anything. This is gonna be freaking awesome. Let's see here. So here is the camera. This is find everything. So this is just like everything together. Smart detections only, I can do animal, I can do vehicle, person, I can click it. If I go to vehicle, I can click the vehicle. Now I can select the camera or all cameras. This is just, if I want this camera, it's only gonna be one camera. Now I'm gonna have all the cameras. And the cool thing is with this, you can do match content and stuff like that. Like if you say a certain car or certain, um, like here, like here's the camera, which can, how much pings does it get a day and stuff like that. And then over here, we have the different sizes, so you can just kind of move it back. If you're here, you can go back to the pictures again. Calendar is the day and time. Um, and then what I like to do is the cool thing is person. We can do faces. If there's any faces, it'll bring them up. We got faces here. Uh, if we go to vehicles, we got all the vehicles, license plates. But the cool thing with the vehicles is, or a license plate too is, you can kind of search by the color of the vehicle, like what kind of vehicle you're looking for too. So that's pretty cool too. They let you search the type of vehicle. So find anything, vehicles, and we can search for color vehicle, all the red or all the yellow and reds. We got yellow and red vehicles that came on the property. We can search whether it's S truck, bus, if it's yellow bus. So if we do truck, no trucks because there ain't no yellow trucks. So it's it's freaking cool and we can do license plate truck. Let's see, no, we'll just do it all. So we get license plate of just the trucks. Uh, let's just do license plate of the buses. So let's go to buses and then we'll do license plate of the buses. Boom, boom, boom. We got that right there. So it's so freaking cool. Like this thing is just awesome. So what we're gonna do now is actually create the alarms. So we'll go to the alarms. And then like I said before, I like to create them really custom. So what I like to do is let's just call this one face, uh, face, oops, face. And we'll do it unknown. So only unknown faces that come on the property. I can do the custom time. Like I said, time of the day, it goes down this way. So if I wanted it to start at uh, eight or let's see, seven to 12, we want seven to 12 and then 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. So that means that in this time window right here, I'm not gonna get any detections right here. And I'm only gonna get here and to here. So the whole night time until, where is it? 6 a.m. So if I hover over it too, you can see at 6 a.m. And then it's gonna stop until 7 p.m. It'll start again. And so that's how you can do your times. Uh, I'm just gonna have it on always because I want it. Unknown faces. now. This is the cool thing. Since we made that animal one and we have the other one, when we select which camera we want, you can select all if you want, but remember, I wanna know whether it's at the front of the gate, if it's at a back gate, just giving an example, doesn't matter about this, 
but I just want to know where it is. So I'm going to click here. And now since we made that animal, we're like, nope, we don't need the animal one. We just want the default one. And we're going to select the default. I'm going to hit notify. Now you can click this and add more users and then they'll be able to add the more users there. Who wants it? Like I could say, like, I don't want it. I don't want anyone. I just want like say two people like this. I don't want it. And then I can add another person and me if I wanted to, or all three of us, I can just do all admin. See, but I just don't need that. We'll just do one me for now. And then the custom content. This is what you could say is unknown person at front gate. So unknown, oops. unknown. And then you put person front gate and then this is the information that you would get on your phone so you would know if a person's face was unknown that wasn't already detected on the camera and it was this time always so you're gonna get it always or the time that you want it you're gonna ping your phone and say unknown person front gate and you'll be like oh crap like okay it's un there's somebody there that shouldn't be there or a car or a vehicle or whatever you can have it say whatever you want depending on what you want so and then they ignore the repeat so here's the cool thing with the repeat so let's say the person you can set the time how many minutes you want so that one person or that object which you have that triggered the first alarm won't trigger multiple in a certain time window so you won't get like 20 of the same thing you're like I didn't do 20 of the same person. You can kind of make sure it does it. But the cool thing is, let's say in whatever time you set there, let's just say it's one. If another, if the original person comes and another person comes that's different before that one minute, it'll still notify you about the new person. That is cool, huh? Yeah, that's freaking awesome. And they have web hooks too. So you can add web hooks, like if you have a home assistant or whatever, or a different integration you wanna add, you can have it blink the lights, depending on, oh, a random car or a person is at your front door, the lights in the house blink, whatever you want, air conditioner turns on and blast hot air under your butt saying get up, someone's at the door, whatever you want. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, but just the notification, and you can do it in include or exclude. I just like to do include, only select like the cameras, but you could do both if you wanted to. Now, we got that. If you wanted to make another alarm, because like I said, there's a lot of alarms, and I would recommend when you're in these alarm page, just go discard, delete all the other alarms here and just start fresh. Just delete them. Trust me, it's so easy to create the ones you're gonna need. It's just better you do it yourself. Let's just say objects, vehicle, animal, person, packages, uh, activity, doorbell rings. This person has no doorbell, otherwise it'd be lit up and you'd only be able to apply this to doorbells or like gate access. They do have an unlock here, but it doesn't have any of those things hooked up. So it's, not, it's blacked out right now. But you can have it when your doorbell rings, other than, you know, you just, your thing goes off, you can have it where it pings your phone too. So not only will you get the ringing on your thing to answer it and talk to whoever it is, but you'll also get a notification on your phone too, a double one. I like to hit a double just to make sure because when someone's at my door, I want to know why they're at my door. Uh, then you can do sounds, line crossing, loitering. So if somebody's sitting on your property too long, you can put time limits and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, and you can do custom of that too. Uh, they have system stuff too. So like device issues, application issues, admin access, recording and download detections, geofencing entries, um, cause you can have geofencing too with this. So if somebody, you know, like leaves the actual property with their phone, their phone detects they're gone, then they'll get notifications. But once they're on back on the property, the system will detect it and then it will, um, say no more notifications because I'm on the property, so don't worry. Uh, you also, which is pretty dang cool, with this new system here too, uh, you can set it to emails too if you want to, but most people don't want emails, so I'm not gonna even show that, but you can do the email stuff too. Uh, I just don't, I just don't like the email stuff, so that's why I just, and then I'm gonna discard that. The emails are just annoying, so I don't wanna do the emails. And then you can do manage mute notifications here, mute until the next 24 hours if you're doing stuff or resetting or there's gonna be a busy day and you're like, I don't need my phone going off at this night because the guys are gonna be working for a couple hours or you can do a custom one too, you know, the day and the time. So it's, it's so much cool stuff 
that you can do with this system. It's kind of mind blowing in a way too. But yeah, and you can see right here, two hits in the last 24 hours. So about 17 hours ago, the last triggered of the alarm. And that means that somebody came at night at the, that's when that, that alarm was triggered. So this isn't like detections that you're looking at earlier. This is only the things that were detected in a certain time frame. Whenever the company had their, oh, starts at six to seven or eight to 12 or 12 to two or whatever, this is what they show. So there was two of those in the last 24 hours. So that's pretty cool. Uh, probably somebody closing up or locking up the gate when it was time to go and it caught him right at the right time. Um, and maybe he forgot something and had to go back again. But yeah, and I do have a video on the case manager. Like I said, again, it'll be up in the top description for case manager. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. I did this for you. The system is so freaking cool. And if you get the AI key, it even takes it up to the next level. I'm telling you, it is freaking awesome. Search anything. You can just search a word, person with skateboard, boom, instantly comes up. There's so many freaking cool features. And they're even gonna add like safety stuff. So, and this can, enter, you can even turn cameras that aren't even uh, AI license plate detection into license plate detection. It's scalable. And you can even do like detect like security stuff. Oh, person not wearing hard hat on the job or infraction or speeding in around the yard. I mean, there's just tons of stuff coming. Unify never stops. They're always innovating and updating. That's why they're so freaking cool and they don't charge for it. They only charge for the stuff. So if you have to pay a premium for the stuff one time and then you get all these free updates, I tell you what, it is worth it. So hey, like I say in all my videos, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out and guess what? I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Thank you.